you are looking at the first 3D home built for Habitat Humanity, and it was built and get this just 12 hours. It has three bedrooms, two full baths. They say the houses houses concrete can withstand natural disasters. It can withstand tornadoes and even hurricanes. A family in Virginia moved into the home just in time for the holidays. They also received a personal 3D printer so they can print anything they might need, like an electrical outlet or cabinet knobs. I still don't know how that works. I don't know how they did the whole house 3D printed. That's crazy to me. Yeah. All right, we got some feel good news. A man from Tulsa, Oklahoma found a little tiny frog in his box of romaine lettuce four days after he had bought that salad mix. So he ended up naming his little frog friend Tony <laughs> and says finding him a full circle moment. I think is this the correct? Okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Simon Curtis, the leukemia su survivor, spent part of his childhood in the hospital, and he was kept company by a oh. stuffed frog. I thought the video had jumped ahead. So now little Tony has a new terrarium for a home. Oh. I know how you like Kermit and green things. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm not, I don't like amphibians, so I'm going to stay away from that. But take a look at this. Moscow decorated with thousands of lights as the city prepares to welcome the new year and celebrate Orthodox Christmas. Last year's celebrations partially canceled because of the pandemic. This year, the traditional winter festival returning to Moscow in 27 locations. All right, time now to take a look at what's coming up on SA Live. Well, on this Monday, we have a plethora. Yes. Of words. There's the word of the day, plethora yes. of different things going on here. You might say this show is going to new heights. Uh -huh. <laughs> and by this show, I mean Jen. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, my question is, is she earning the coffee by climbing or climbing and then drinking coffee? But it's a place where you can do both. Climb up there at the Armadillo Boulders and then get some great coffee. And then the good kind South Town is sharing a healthy recipe for crispy fish tacos. And then it doesn't stop there. You get to wash it down with some fruit forward drinks that have some health benefits too. Oh, a cocktail with health benefits. I love it. Bye. Sign me up. <laughs> we'll drink to that. And hey, going camping, going on a hike, picnic, something like that. South Paul Waggery is, uh, you know, wants you to bring your furry friends along with you. And they've got some things that you should bring even with your on your trek with your furry friend to make sure they are comfortable and safe and healthy. And if your kids' clothes look like they just, you know, exploded, you know, in their bedroom and is, you know, slowly seeping into the hallway, well, <laughs> we have tips from a local business on how to organize their dresser drawers so clothes are easy to put away and, best of all, easy to find. Yes, until the kids get a hold of them the next oh. time. So. <laughs> hey. And what's the one thing no amount of money could ever get you to do? Think about that and let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. This year may not have been quite as strange as last year, but there were still some strange stories making news this year. Right now on KSAT.com, you can check out the strangest news stories from this year, including Texas DPS mistakenly sending out an Amber Alert for Chuck, yes, the doll from the horror films, and a tongue-eating creature found in a state park right here in Texas. If you missed it, you can read more about these stories right now on our website. Just look for the article on our homepage. They were equally strange in their own ways. <laughs> 2020 and 2021. Uh, speaking of 2021, I think it's safe to say you really won't need your jacket a whole lot for the rest of the year, including New Year's Day, because our next strong cold front that will really cool us down isn't set to arrive until late Saturday, early Sunday. We'll keep tabs on that forecast very closely for you in the week ahead, guys. All right. Start warming up the house by Sunday. Oof. That is it for us here on the News at Noon. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Look at her go. Hang on. We are taking you to a local climbing gym with more than 5,000 square feet of bouldering terrain. And I think Jen has accomplished all 5,000 feet. <laughs> At least that's our story we're taking She's climbing through. her Look Everest. <laughs> yes. She's my hero. <laughs> oh. Better her than us. Good <laughs> afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And if you don't know the difference, rock climbing, you climb higher while using ropes and safety harnesses. And in bouldering, you are just hanging by your fingertips and feet, no ropes. 
Do you know the difference? I, 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 I didn't think know I the difference. Have you ever done anything like that? Uh, well, not just at places like that, yeah. yes. I've, not I've tried. Out in nature, no, I'm not that I've, brave. <laughs> I've never climbed up with her, I've repelled off a wall or off a building and stuff like that yeah. before, so yeah. it's pretty cool, but nothing like that. So. so what is the one thing you wouldn't do no matter what? No amount of money could get you to do it. Um, I have bungee jumped before, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I'd do that again. You know, I'm probably going to jump on that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I've jumped out of airplanes before. I've never done but that. But for some reason, bungee jumping scares me more. Kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> How about you? What is it that not even a million dollars? Well, maybe if somebody's going to even a million bucks, but uh, you wouldn't do for a million dollars. It's just, you know, wouldn't do it. Maybe it's getting into a pit with rattlesnakes. Oh, yes, you've done that. Very good. All right, well, let us know at SALIFE You owe me money, then. I do. <laughs> I was there watching. Let us know at SALIFE Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those later on in the show. Well, Lent, of course, is still going on right now, and if you're looking for a new healthy meal to try, then look no further. Tim McDermott, owner of Tim the Girl Catering and the Good Kind is here. And what are we making today? It is a healthy dish, right? It smells yeah. good too. Hi. How are so you? we are making our new gluten-free fish tacos. Okay. So some people may say fish is already gluten-free, but these are delicious, amazing fries gluten-free fish tacos. Okay, now I don't usually think of fried food and gluten-free. Gluten so I, gluten I know, so it is really food. actually very hard, especially in San Antonio, to find fried things that are gluten-free. And so we developed, a, my favorite thing ever is a fried fish taco. I am not gluten-free, but I like gluten-free things. And uh -huh. so we developed our own gluten-free flour mix made from rice flour, almond flour, and then a variety of different seasonings. And, and there we go. And gluten-free can be incredibly tasty. Yeah. I've had gluten-free food and I've enjoyed it. Absolutely. You know? And this one is, and you, fries up, you said actually a little bit lighter than kind of regular Exactly. Flour, right? So it's a much lighter, it's more, it, it's not like a, like a batter where you pull the thing out from in it. It's more like a tempura batter. Okay. And so we soak it in the, where it's being soaked is in a bath of soda water, egg yolk, we soak that, let it marinate, and then let it sit into our gluten-free flour mixture. Did and you, you say, don't. Did you say soda water? Soda water actually gives a lot of fried foods that kind of a little effervescent to lighten up the batter. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Okay. Yeah. And so over here, Fiona is making the slaw. She's using mandolin. And we use a cabbage green and purple so that we just get a pretty look for it. That's probably good. good. Okay. And then you can add this into your bowl. We season that with a little cider vinegar. And you can squeeze some of your lime into there. Okay. Now, if somebody was going to fry at home, um, what kind of oil is this? What temperature? So you want to have it on a medium heat so that it fries. You don't ever want the oil to be not hot enough because it will absorb more oil. So medium high. Everyone's stove is very different at home. And we use uh, a safflower oil. Okay. What's, what's the good, uh, you know, like with making pancakes, you throw some water on the skillet and it sizzles up. Right. So what? if you did, when you, I kind of take it, I start to put it in and if you get like a lot of action, you want a lot of action in your oil means okay. that it's hot enough. And so you can do a little bit of water on it. And that seals in all the moisture too. Exactly, when you get that good it seals in the moisture. Because okay. fried food really does get a bad rap. It's not fried food itself. If the oil is good oil and the, it's hot enough, it isn't that bad for you. It's not absorbing a ton of the oil. And you can actually lock in moisture and get a really healthy dish. Okay, you've got an interesting event coming up. At we your sure place, do. Right? At the good so we are just announced our first in a series of our food, cocktail, and wine festivals we're going to be doing at our event venue, Ivy Hall Events. And it is a bunch of chefs from San Antonio. We have some visiting chefs from Austin. Mm -hmm. And it will be tickets are on sale on our site. And there are other healthy foods that folks can enjoy at The Good Kind, right? Absolutely. We just uh, put on our menu. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, our sticky cauliflower vegan tacos. Uh, we have a fried chicken sandwich, which 
Again, people might say, but we're also using Fries, a gluten-free right. flour. We use really good bread. We put veggies on it. Um, we have a burrito. So if you're gluten-free, great place to go. If you're yes, not, you're going to get it. Absolutely. And... Absolutely. We have both. Okay. Right. Is this one done too? Yeah, or? those okay. are done. And then All you're right. going to get your shelf from over there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll do that. I'm just gonna hand those to you. I know I should warm and them up. So we make a salsa of smoked poblados, tomatillos, lime. Ooh. I have it there. You can put a little of the salsa on first. Okay. So we, we sort of use the salsa. Heating up the tortillas or not? Or is that we're not we're gonna just for, or not. for time's so sake pretend, not right okay. now. <laughs> we would heat up the tortillas. And you're gonna get your salsa down there. And whereabouts, as she's assembling that, are you located, the good company? We are located at 1127 South St. Mary Street in Southtown. Okay. And, and some finishing slaw. Up, finishing up. Some slaw. Some radish. Some a radish. little plucked cilantro. And I'm going to grab this baby and try and there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Almost finished. All right. There we go. So where can folks go for more information on you? Information at mm. eatgoodkind.com and ivyholevents.com for the chef series. All right, Tim McDermott, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, you've got it all over your chin. That means it's good. I know. That <laughs> means he's enjoying it. Because you're wearing it. It is nice and light, and, and it's cob, right? It's yeah. Flavorful yeah. yeah. All right, for more information on The Good Kind and Tim the Girl Catering, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, well, this next Next activity is for the bolder among us. Ah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, and our Jen Tobias Trusky is pretty bold today. The boldest of us all. <laughs> She's not far from us over there at Arm Armadillo Boulders, and this place has more than just bouldering. A lot going on. Are you up on a wall there, Jen? Right. If you want a good workout and everything you guys were eating or making over there sounds amazing, but after you have your lunch, come on over here because you can get a heck of a workout and it's all about the boulder, bouldering, but they also have a gym and I'm joined now by Karina, the general manager and Karina, you guys have this amazing wall, a bunch of them. And uh, let's talk first about what makes this gym so unique. Um, so we're one of the climbing gyms in the area that is really good for families. Um, we have a bunch of different levels. Um, like you can see on the wall, there are some different numbers mm -hmm. which feature, uh, like if you're starting out, you can start with zeros or ones, work your way up to level three, four, five, six, seven, up to nine. Um, and so I guess we're gonna have Jen try an easier problem, but yes. we also have really cool community events. So we're not just about being strong, we're also about being here for the whole community and I the families. That. Now, you were mentioning it's not, it's like art exhibits that they have out in the front. They have an awesome coffee truck in the front. So, so this is our zero levels. So if you're a beginner, I like what you said. If this is your first time trying this, come with friends, right? Yes. Okay. So I like that it's my beginner level because I don't do this. Now you've been doing this for five years, right? Yes. Um, so she's following the green colors. You're trying to stick to one color going all the way up the wall. Um, but if you use other colors trying to get used to it the first time, that's okay. Yeah. Um, and we're going to tr try so to walk your here. feet up if you can. There you go. And then try to grab this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can use this foot too. You can come over a little more if okay. you need to. Yeah, there you go. Oh, here we go. Shifting your body over. Good job. Here we go. Okay. And, and it's okay to use some of these other ones. Yes, especially when you're getting used to it. But you're trying to get to that taped hold with both hands. This one? Oh yes, my gosh. which you might need another foot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to keep trying this, but you have an expert over there who's been doing this for six years. So that's Nathaniel. Jonathan Jonathan Daniel, Daniel, yes. And he's going to town over there. What would you say the biggest challenge is when it comes to rock climbing or bouldering? Um, I would say it is developing muscle memory, being able to trust your body in certain, um, well, you can see right now, Jonathaniel's kind of really tense, but you can't really tell because he's very strong. Um, but you really have to, it's like dancing on the wall in a different way <laughs> with a lot of tension and strength. And the most important thing that I remember the last time I Whoop. came here, God, wow, he makes it look so <laughs> Was that when you go, when you fall down, that's like, cause these are all very soft by the way. If you were watching and if you were worried about me, <laughs> you guys show people how to land and everything. Yes. You have to sign a waiver. Obviously masters still required in here. But 
I think it's awesome because you also have a whole section for the kids, right? We do, yeah. Um, there's a shorter wall in the back with a, a lot more bigger holds so they can explore different features but also feel safe at the same time. Got it. And when you come out here, if you've never tried this, uh, there's so many different levels and you guys are here to help, right? We definitely are. We do have an intro to climbing class every Saturday, actually. Um, it's free for members and there's like an, a smaller additional price for day pass people. But we do have memberships. We also have day passes if you just want to try it for one day. And would you say there's any, I'm going to give this a try one more time, but would you say there's any other uh, gym that's like this one in San Antonio? I would say that this is the only place that is family friendly, um, that allows all ages, because we allow kids as young as three to climb. Uh -huh. um, there you go. What yeah. age did you say for kids? Three years old. Three years old? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to try to go over here, guys. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I believe a second there you go if you maybe you can switch your foot like if you can swap your foot okay it's kind of <laughs> and if not that's okay <laughs> I'll go back here well I'm gonna keep trying this guy <laughs> just hanging around back to you yeah that works too Look, okay. that's fantastic Jen I don't know where to go <laughs> Yeah, I think if I can <laughs> hey, we're going to get to see more of the down. other activities they have over there at Armadillo Boulder coming up a little bit later on. My son did that, went there uh, last summer. You love that place. Mm -hmm. yeah. For more information on Armadillo Boulder, all you have to do is head to our website. You know what to do. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead. The weather has been warm, and we love getting outside. But don't forget your furry friends love time outside as well. We share the must-have items for spring camping and taking a little hike with your pups. And it's time to get organized. Tips to make your spring cleaning easier. That's next. It begins this weekend, and if you're planning on doing some uh, spring cleaning, I've been doing that in my garage, we know where you can start, and we know someone that can really help. Yes, Jennifer Singletary, owner of Sort and Order, I love that, Sort and Order, shares tips for getting your drawer full of clothes, finally organized. <laughs> Singletary. I have Sort and Order here in New Braunfels. We're a home organization company. We do packing and unpacking, downsizing. We help your house get ready for you to live in it in the most efficient way. So one of the biggest impact things you can do for your home is filing over piling. And what we mean by that is instead of piles of clothes in a drawer, what you want to do is file them. So we're going to refold all these items and put them in a file system to where they're easy to get out and return when you're done. And it doesn't have to be perfect, really. You just want the items to where they can kind of stand up on their own. The reason this is helpful is because now you can see everything that's in the drawer. Easier to access, less mess when you pull it out, less mess when you put it back in. The best idea every time is to take everything out of the drawer. So you have to intentionally put back the items you want and can discard what doesn't belong or what isn't used or what has damage. So we'll do that first. Take them all out. I would recommend vacuuming out and wiping out the drawer just to make sure it's all clean and then start the process. When you put items back, you can look up how to tri-fold or file fold. There's lots of resources on the internet to tell you what's the easiest way. But really, there's no science. What you want to do is fold in a way that A, is easy for you so that you'll do it, and B, helps the clothes stand up on their own. One of the easiest ways to tri-fold, put the arms in, lay it flat, that way you make a little burrito out of the clothing and it stands up on its own. It's been said that home organization is like a personal trainer for your house. In the same way, home organization really comes down to maintenance. So you want to make sure whatever you do, it's easily maintained by you, the homeowner, so that it is something that stays neat and tidy and is a functional system for you.
benefits of this method is that it's easier, first of all, to see what's in the drawer, but also to pull it out and to put it back in. And you can see what you have. So there you have it. Files over piles. Easy to take out, easy to see what you have, and easy to put back in. For more tips like this, please visit us at sortandorder.life. My house. Hey, take a look at what Jen's doing up there at Armadillo Boulders. Is she bouldering, practicing yoga, or working out? We know her. Java Jen's probably getting a cup of coffee. And don't forget the items you will need for your next big hike with your dog. Welcome back everybody. Oh my goodness gracious. Spring is definitely here. Who cares what the calendar says about the Equinox Saturday morning, but this is perfect time to get outside, go for a walk, take a hike, and don't forget the four-legged ones. Yes, Maricela Martinez, owner of South Paul Waggery, is here to tell us about gearing up for spring. That's right. <laughs> um, now that our snowpocalypse is over, we get some sun out, some cool air. Everybody's getting ready to go out hiking and camping again, so have some great stuff for you. Treat you know, sleeping beds, packs, name it. Yeah. And and even if you're not like going in deep into the woods right. or camping or something like that, even walking around the neighborhood, this stuff is really going to come in handy. Right. right. Perfect. And we can help you out with that. Whether it's just a day hike, a rock around the neighborhood, an overnight trip, we have all the goodies to get okay. you set up. All right. Pack us up. <laughs> Speaking of, and you turn your little four-legged friend into a pack mule, right? Exactly. <laughs> or a purse. Can, so. They can carry your wallet and your keys. Yes. <laughs> then they run off and then. So, anyway, so, what, so this is where they can carry what treats and everything. Yep, treats. A little bag of food for breaks if they need to just you know re up as um, for some energy. They mm -hmm. can put a water bowl in there, a travel water bowl, a water bottle. Just a lot of the essentials to get you going through that hike or that camping trip. Now, if you've got a really small dog, do these come even smaller these than this? These come in or? like extra, extra small. Some of them do. Yep. Really? Yes, For sir. Any bitty water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess small dog doesn't eat as much or drink as much. So then they may not last as long. They may, they may do like 30 minute hike. <laughs> and, and then we were talking about would this double as a car harness that you could like hook them in if you needed to? You could. Yes, you could. Yep. Okay. They're very functional. Um, they just a very smart, uh, well, well made product. Yep. Fanny packs are back in style? Yes, they are. Did they ever you go can, out of style? I don't know. <laughs> you, can, you can finally just bust out your collection. I know you've got one over the years. <laughs> anyway, and it's in the color blue, which I, but this is good because it's got a, dump, a bunch of different little pockets in it, and you can put your keys in there, but then also the dog treats in yep. this, perhaps, yep. or poop extra, bags, dog extra treats, bag. extra bags, um, your keys, your cell phone, easily accessible. And if you don't want to do the fanny pack thing, you can do it as a shoulder sleeve. That is correct. Okay. And what I love, especially here in South Texas, is there's something to keep your dog cool while they're that outside. That is right, which is essential here of how hot it gets. Mm -hmm. Yep. So how's this work? Yeah. Yep, so this is a cooling vest, one of our most popular products. Basically, drench it in water, wring it out, put it back on the dog, and it just keeps their body nice and cool in temperature. And the material around it helps reflect the sun rays so it's not getting so hot on their body, and which again, helps prevent it from overheating. All different sizes? Correct. All different sizes. Now, dogs cool themselves by panting and also their feet, mm -hmm. right? That's correct. And then we're talking about feet and hot pavement. Exactly. You want to make sure, especially as it gets hotter, to not to keep your dog's paws off that hot pavement, especially midday. These boots right here are perfect for doing that. They're washable, they're breathable, easy to put on, last a long, long time. Come in all sizes as well. Okay. Leashes, too. Mm -hmm. And you said that one's special because. Yeah. Uh, we have a you bunch of leashes. These are great because they can be handheld or waist worn. So whether around the neighborhood or hiking, these are very functional that you can wrap around your waist. So you can have two dogs or use your hands for other things. And if you go to the lake or beach, we have great waterproof leashes that are made of like really great biothane materials um, that can just right. easily dry off. All right, we've got about 20 seconds. Okay. So let's talk the yum yum that they've got, right? Yep, so we have some great new, as of this month, Barkery treats. Just because we felt that dogs, dog treats should have be just as cute as the human treats. Um, partnered up with my sister-in-law, Kelly's Cookies, to bake these awesome human-grade organic 
dog treats custom made to order in any design you want. Okay, if you'd like more information on South Paul Waggery and where you're located? Located downtown at 317 Lexington at the Cadillac Lofts. All right, SA Live. Click on the SC and SA Live tab. Thank you so much, Marissa. Great stuff. So happy to be here again. Thank you for having me. All right, coming up Thursday, Thursday again, Tim McDermott still here. She made those great tacos and now some good cocktails from the good kind. And we find out what Jenna's been up to while hanging around armadillo boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying the weather here. Of course, the beautiful day at Market Square. Well, welcome back to the show. We have been on the edge of our seats <laughs> to see what Jen has been up to after a rocky start earlier in the show. Make sure you really hang on this story and have a <laughs> firm foothold. What other puns can we come up with? Jen's out there at Armadillo Boulders, and there are tons of things to do for the kids and adults. And Java Jen, what's going on? I'm feeling it, and my arms are seriously throbbing. What, it, it's a great workout, but yes, apparently coffee and climbing go hand in hand, and outside of Armadillo Boulders, they have a Spada coffee a food trailer out, a truck out there, so you can also get your coffee fix, right, Karina? Oh, yes. And then this is the? We also have Nitro Cold Brew on tap in our gym, too, um, and Element Kombucha on tap as well if you want to try it, but yeah. And I have to say, you need this caffeine if you're going to hit these up, right? <laughs> So we have John and Daniel, and this one's really cool here. Tell me a little bit about this, because it may not seem, because it's not as steep, that um, it's challenging, but this is hard. Yes, whenever it comes to overhang walls like this, um, there's a little bit more tension involved. So again, John and Daniel's probably going to make it look pretty easy, but, oh, he's cutting feet. There Ooh, we go. Look at him. <laughs> so again, this is kind of like dancing on the wall. Um, how do you do that? I'm just making it look really smooth, which it does take practice, but like I said, we do have intro to climbing classes once a week on Saturdays in case you want to come with your family and learn how to do this with each other. And so t just to put in perspective how difficult this is, you're awesome. You're so <laughs> awesome. Um, so Karina, you showed me how you kind of like do that whole like swing thing. So this is the one I was trying to do earlier, but of course you were helping me. So you can mix and match the colors. So I'm going here. Like you yeah, can she got a heel hook. Nice like and that. strong. And then, this is so hard. This is so hard. Because I can't go anywhere. And you did so good. Okay. So I'm getting down now. But yeah, so that's all I can do. But imagine this. I mean, he's going and you kept going. So, um, so somebody who wants to try this, again, it's just practice, 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 right? Definitely, yes. And you just have like all anything. kinds of classes. Um, around the corner, they have the kid area. And um, can you describe like the different levels? Um, if you want to be on this side of the gym, is there a big difference? Um, so we try to keep the grade levels kind of true no matter what wall you're on. But sometimes, like I said, the overhangs can just be a little bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. it, it's based on the style that you like to climb. Um, so just depending on what, what, what's one do you like the best? I love the overhangs. So, I mean, like what I was trying to show you to do earlier, like I, I love how to do. <laughs> Yeah, well, like sometimes she was saying you, you can change different colors if you want to play like add-on or something. But if you're just trying like different moves and you're like, woo, hello, you know, whatever. But um, it takes a lot of whole body um, strength to do this. So. so would you say, so it's everything. I was going to ask, is it, because like the green I'm good with here. <laughs> yes, so, the yeah, easier these, ones. Again, the different, different levels. How often do you guys switch out the? We change different parts of the walls twice a week. Um, so there's always new challenges, yes. And then again, different community events, right? Um, yes, we do actually have a spring art bazaar coming up at the end of the month on the 27th. So we'll feature some local artists, local vendors. And awesome, okay, I'm coming down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, again, it's soft, don't worry. I'm all good, but this is quite a workout. Just the short time I've been here, I'm feeling it. So come out, they're located right near KSAT um, downtown. You wanna say your address? 
Yes, our address is 1119 Camden Street, um, and we're really close to the Pearl, yep. right down the street from SAMA. Make a day of it and come out here and have fun. SALive.com for more information. I think I'm going to keep trying this, guys. <laughs> Back to you. Yes, yes we're going to see if Jen can get to the top. Yeah, and do the, the overhang thingy and all that <laughs> stuff. So. And what's cool is they've got uh, you know, the, the levels for different all yeah. kind of folks. For, Experts and then out. for uh, yeah, us the pro on the floor. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, for more information on Armadillo Boulders, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link. This one. SA Live, well, we are preparing for spring on this thirsty Thursday. And Tim McDermott from The Good Kind is back. We made those yummy fish tacos that were gluten free, and now we have to have something to wash it down with. And, and I that's the, the fun part. That, you know, you always say, well, well, it's, it's healthy, but this is a healthy cocktail, right? <laughs> that's true. I mean, as healthy as cocktails get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we starting off with? So we are starting off on your end with our signature drink. It is a Hibiscus lime margarita. So we have homemade hibiscus syrup that we use instead of the usual simple syrup, triple sack sweet that people would put into drink. We squeeze all of our juices fresh. Mm -hmm. So you've got your tequila, your fresh lime juice, and then an ounce or so of your homemade hibiscus syrup. So and, and that's homemade. That's, we make that. So we Ooh. get hibiscus flowers. We do an infusion, we make it into a simple syrup. Could you make that into like a hibiscus old fashioned? Absolutely. Yeah. So the, you okay. can make it into lots of non alcoholic drinks too, imagine that. <laughs> so make some hibiscus tea Absolutely. out of that. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give it a shake. I think you have your. Right, oh, there, we go. there you All go. Right. Thank you much. Okay. And what's better in your opinion, frozen or iced margarita? I am an iced person. But also, Love the you color, can top though. this with a little topo. Okay. There's there a lot of booze in there. Um, I am an on ice margarita person. That's me. But we do make really good frozen margaritas. We squeeze. We have grapefruit, orange, Ooh. lemon, and lime in there. Ooh. That hibiscus, I love hibiscus, hibiscus tea and everything like that. That's really good in awesome. a margarita. So, okay. all right, what's Thank next? Thank you. Your next up is a smoky Paloma. Okay. That is here. Smoky okay. Paloma. So we use a little mezcal instead of tequila. You're going to use the green bottle. Yep. Don't be shy. <laughs> there we go. And you have uh, food seven days a week? We do. We're open for lunch and dinner every day. Okay. And Sundays we close at seven. Okay. But okay. no breakfast. So open up No there. breakfast. And what's, what's one of the most popular things on the menu? I know those fish tacos were fantastic. I, the fish tacos are actually our best selling. And then you're going to also do an ounce of that. Are the fish tacos, we have a spicy fried chicken sandwich, which does well because everything, apparently chicken sandwiches are like the COVID food. I guess you're healthier, or you think you're healthier eating chicken, right? Right, so. I guess. And then a little fresh grapefruit and top with a little topo. Okay, there we go. There you go. And these are perfect cocktails. Yes. It, it, <laughs> as, as they said on uh, St. Patty's Day yesterday, cilantro. So. Cilantro, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's got a kick. <laughs> That right? might be because I, I wasn't the anti jelly. I, yeah. And last yeah. but certainly not least. Last but not least is our. I like to say I'll have the the anti-inflammatory cocktail. It has because we have a cold press fresh juice program. It has fresh turmeric root, fresh ginger, pineapple, lime, and coconut water in the mix. And oh, we wow. mix that with vodka. Just right here. I'm mix it with right vodka. Here. Why not? So some people actually get it with gin. It works both ways. Whew. So okay. that's what you put in your smoothie in the morning, and then you put it in your cocktail We later actually, on. just for this season on our menu, are starting boozy smoothies, because we have a whole smoothie program. So we're offering shots of rum, shots of Malibu in your smoothie. Why not? <laughs> We'd like to say grown-up smoothies. Exactly. And you also have that uh, good program coming up. It is. We do. We have a chef series event coming up April 11th. Tickets are on sale. It's a picnic-style food festival. Seven visiting chefs. It is all inclusive, cocktails, beer, wine, food. It's gonna be awesome. And the tickets just went on sale yesterday. All right. All right.
Well, if you'd like more information about the good kind and all of the, the healthy and the boozy smoothies, or <laughs> say that three times fast, before you had one to drink, just go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on the SA Live tab. Hey guys, it's David Elder, and right now for KSAT Deals, we have some hot dogs that you're gonna love to try. Check these out right here. These are Booze Dogs Blue Tick Bourbon Bratwurst and Hot Dogs. They're using high quality pork shoulder plus high quality spices inside of them. Right now, we're gonna be smoking them, grilling them, and boiling them, and showing you guys how you can make these at home. All right, we're gonna cut these bad boys open. The coolest thing about these is that they're actually marinated in real bourbon. These are the smoked sausages. These are like a traditional hot dog style. Let's throw them on the grill. Oh yeah. We have some on the smoker, and look at these guys. They're already rocking and rolling. Look at the color that comes out of there. Now these are right next to the fire, probably about 300 degrees, about 325. I've left them on there for about 10, 12 minutes. The outside looks really nice. I'm gonna pull these off. These look ready to rock and roll, and then I'm gonna throw the other ones into our boiling beer, water, and oil mixture. A bold beer goes a long way with different flavors, and right now I'm gonna be throwing these hot dogs some of the smoked sausage inside. This is water, beer, and oil all mixed together. It's just a little bit of oil on top. I put some seasoning in as well. I use a little bit of garlic powder, and then it's an equal ratio to water and beer. And what this will do is kind of push all that inside of it, so they're gonna be super plump and juicy. We're gonna pull them right off, because these are ready to go. I got some Belial rolls, and check these out. I just put butter on top, threw them in for just a couple minutes, I'm gonna split the tops of them and make some really nice hot dog buns. So these have been boiling for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and just to finish them off, throw them right onto the grill real quick. So these are the boiled dogs. Put these in the back of the board and we get the other ones right off the grill. All of the dogs are ready to go. We have the booze dogs, blue tick bourbon, two different ways. We have the hot dogs and then the smoked sausage. I'm gonna put one of these smoked sausages on the inside. Then I'm gonna add some sauerkraut right on top. None of these hot dogs have synthetic flavoring. They're slow smoked with natural hickory chips. Plus, when you get them in an order, it's four pounds, 26 servings of bourbon infused brats and hot dogs. And they actually, they arrive frozen. So that way you can warm them up, keep them in the freezer. They last for a long time. These hot dogs are safe for friends of all ages. So if you have some people coming over for dinner, this would be a really good item to make. And 3% of the profits made off all the hot dogs are donated to the Best Friends Animal Society. The retail price for four pounds, $69. But right here, right now, KSAT Deals, you can get it 10% off, $62.99. You can get four pounds of this. They come frozen, you hold them in the freezer, you can pull them out whenever you want to, whenever you're having a party. Plus, you can get this deal and so many other deals right now, ksatdeals.com. could get you to do, Nathan says, skydiving. He's not gonna jump out of a perfectly good airplane. But didn't you say the skydiving, it's it's not like you're falling, you just keep going sideways and then drop down. Yes, it's swim, the sudden stop though. Oh, that, 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 Mary Jane says, swim in the ocean. Oh, Mary Jane, oh, fear of the ocean. Hmm. Okay, and Vianney says, skydiving or bungee jumping? Done the bungee jumping, yeah. Mm. You won't do it again? Probably not. Probably not. And Paula also, bungee jump, big nope. I did yes. it when it first... It seems so sudden, I, I don't know, or so quick. Well, when it, it was like in a basket on a crane, you know, and then drop yeah. down. And, and then when like, they Ugh. recoil, I'm always afraid they're gonna splat on something. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. It worries me. I would worry. I do not want to curse flat. <laughs> but what's your price? That's the question. No. No, no price on that. All right. See you tomorrow at one.